Virgo, I hope you are doing well. I am coming to you with a message for you, Virgo. Please be reminded that not every message will always be for you. Only take the messages that do resonate. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, I'm very grateful to have you here. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know at this time. Shadow side, the moon, dark night of the soul. Some of you could be doing some cleansing at this time. Some of you could be cleaning out your closet is what I'm hearing. That Eminem song. I said, I'm sorry, mama. I never meant to hurt you. I never meant to make you cry. But tonight I'm clearing out my closet one more time. I said, I'm sorry, mama. Some of you could be cleaning up shop, cleaning up house at this time. Some of you could be realizing things about yourself that need healing. And there could be some sort of dark night that is going on in your energy. Oh, that was a lot of cards, but we will take them. Thank you, spirit. We have apology, forgiveness. We've got spy, watching, inspecting. We've got alchemy, ancestor guides. We've got change and courage. For some of you, this isn't you that's going through this dark night of the soul. Somebody could need to bring forth some sort of apology to you. They're watching you. They've been watching you. This person feels led to come towards you here. They're trying to buck up the courage in order to make some sort of change in their life. Self-care and energy is at the bottom of the deck. You could be very self-focused at this time. Interesting. Somebody could be going through some sort of um, awakening. Somebody could want your forgiveness for something here. Virgo, Seven of Swords at the bottom of this deck. Some sort of sneaky behaviour, deception. Four of Swords, they could be coming forward. Four of Swords is in the reverse here. Somebody's definitely looking at themselves, healing here. Sun, Strength, Empowerment, Avoidance, Stalemate. Present abundant gratitude, transcendence, unity. I feel like somebody's realizing here, Virgo, that if they don't change something, something is going to be um, irrecon irreconcilable or something is going to be too late for them to make a change at a later time. I'm getting like a do, do now or forever hold your peace type of energy. This person's watching you. They're being pushed to make a change. They're being pushed to possibly apologise for something in the past. Wow, the fool in the reverse and the seven of swords. Hanged one is at the bottom of the deck. This person is having a shift in perspective, seeing their actions for what it is, seeing that they were foolish, seeing that they made a careless decision with the full card in the reverse, the seven of swords, this person knows with that hanged man, they can see the error of their ways, this could have been a sneaky person, somebody who didn't really care about what they were doing when they were doing it, but they, were, they weren't moving in integrity here, there was a lot of deception here that they need to apologise for, could be an age difference between the two of you there's a difference in maturity here messages for virgo that seven of swords really wanted to show itself ten of cups is in the reverse this could have caused a lot of unhappiness within a family situation a family could have been broken up by whatever this is five of cups they regret this they regret this heavy heavy regret here i feel like this person is is waking up to the fact that that they um 
Ten of Cups is in the reverse, that they sabotage something for themselves. Strength card. There's a lot of regret here. Page of Cups in the reverse. This person was emotionally not, not able to invest in the past. Six of Cups could be a Scorpio. Eight of Cups. This person could have walked away in the past. What did they walk away to? The Queen of Swords in the reverse. You could have been very angry with this person. Two of Swords. This person um, is a person who doesn't like to take accountability for their actions. You could have felt like this person, King of Swords. Yeah, they detach. When they do something, this is the type of person to kind of throw rocks and hide their hands here. And with that Two of Swords here, underneath that Seven of Swords, it's almost like they didn't want to look at what they did wrong or they have a way of swerving. They, they would do something and then they would swerve the accountability. This is a person who lacks accountability. But they make a lot of careless decisions, careless mistakes, careless actions here. A lot of lying and deceit, sneaky behaviour. But they don't like to take accountability with the two of swords. This could have been a person that you was frustrated with due to them not wanting to own up to their BS. Own up to what it is that they were doing behind the scenes. Hermit energy. This person is having a dark night of the soul. Literally three of wands. Now they're looking at something from a different perspective. King of Wands, a higher, a higher perspective. This person's trying to mature in their energy. With the Hermit card, the Fool card, this is a person who is kind of shining a light on their mistakes, shining a light on their actions, shining a light on things that they may have really, they made a lot of poor decisions. And they're trying to wise up. There's a healing energy. They're actually taking a look at themselves at this time. Could be a Virgo here. Air sign energy. Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Ten of Wands wanted to flip out. Page of Wands. You've got communication coming in from this person. Two of Wands. Knight of Swords. I feel like this person feels you moving away from them, choosing something else. And Gemini, Libra and Aquarius energy, that they're, they're getting, um, it's ruffling their feathers, five of wands. They could be angry about this, but it's almost like, yeah, the five of cups is right behind that. We've got, look, we've got the five of wands, the knight of swords and the two of wands, they can see you moving on and they want to run after you and they're very, very angry, con conflicted in their mind about this. But with the five of cups, it's almost like, then they remember, oh, that's because I did that. That's because, that's because of. So it's like an, an energy of them kind of blaming themselves, frustrated, but blaming themselves. It's like a circle of emotion. They get frustrated because they're viewing you moving forward. They're viewing you go in another direction away from them because you kind of had no choice, possibly. But it's like when they get frustrated, they remember like, it's because of what I did. It's, it's because of how I handled this. It's because of my mistakes in the past that I didn't want to look at. Page of Wands is here. This is a communication coming in. This is a conversation here. This is a heavy energy. This person's um, heavily thinking about you. Page of Swords is at the bottom of the deck in the reverse. There could be a lot of gossip about this. Queen of Swords. You could have set a boundary with this person. People could view you as somebody who's very stern. Page of Swords, they could be viewing you going towards some sort of stability for yourself. For some of you, you've moved or you have um, gained some sort of um, stability in your life. For some of you, you could have got married. You could have be, you could be in some sort of long term commitment here. What is what is the Seven of Swords and the Two of Swords? This this lack of accountability. What is this for Virgo, please? The Ten of Cups. 
the three of pentacles ten of cups is here already not wanting to take accountability for the fact that they weren't willing to compromise they weren't willing to work with you to, to, to attain this ten of cups that was within fingertip reach yeah four of wands they didn't want to take accountability for their part that they caused their, their part, their portion of causing a demise in, in a relationship not coming together, of something not being happy, of something not being fulfillment between the two of you. Creating burdens due to walking away. You bring this person a lot of peace and balance. They view you very highly with this Empress card. They view you as a source of peace, as, as a source of kind of home. But they walked away. And, and I feel like as soon as they walked away from you, they walked into burdens. They, they felt the struggle. It's almost like things, things have been hard ever since for this person. Devil card. This person could have been attached to something here. Bound. Yeah, we've got the Eight of Swords as well this person could have felt stuck to something for some of you there was a father figure involved whether this is the father figure or they had a father figure in their life that they were giving to an overbearing father figure that could have been very domineering over their life over their choices here that they needed to move away from there was a lot of deception seven of swords is here as well Clarify this full card and the hermit card. What is this person realizing? What is this person realizing? What is this hermit energy? Justice. Could be a Libra, the sun, that they should have been fair to you. It's like an aha moment, a realization. Could be a Leo or a Libra that they should have been fair to you that they that they were unfair in some type of way due to their actions that's what they're realizing this is a really straightforward reading there's a lot of cards one more for the hermit card the hierophant wow eight of cups they walked away it's here again somebody walked away and through them walking away they had they had a shift in perspective they possibly took a loss when they walked away from you the queen of pentacles is in the reverse they could have taken a money loss with the death card as well they could have taken a hit to finances something could have not worked out in their favor king of swords in the reverse causing them to be frustrated i feel like whatever new beginning they they wanted to have outside of you virgo i feel like that didn't pan out how they wanted to how they wanted it to and it's almost like they're now having a realization like aha uh -huh, i did i wasn't fair hierophant the divine has stepped in with this person to make them see that something wasn't right here the accountability that they was failing to take in the past they're having to look at it now it's in their face Queen of Wands, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the Magician card. They could view you as somebody who's glowed up, who's kind of bypassed them in some way. They could view you as somebody who's very, very confident at this time, like you've had some sort of elevation in your energy. They could view you as karma itself, even with the Justice card queen of wands they view you as somebody who's sitting very very powerful in a very powerful high ranked position they could view you as somebody who's very looked up to also some of you that you could be in the legal field or you could do something to do with the government here you could have a job that's government based or you you do something to do with the government here or they do but i feel like they're viewing you in a very um high ranked position you could be a boss owner or you could be a manager of some kind in some sort of legal field that's not going to be for everybody a lawyer a solicitor something of that such 
a judge or they could just view you as somebody who's in control and you're calling the shots due to the fact that they kind of gave their power away when they made certain choices with you and you've kind of elevated to the point where you've got a lot of confidence about you you've become more wise there's a lot of wisdom here with that hierophant energy spiritually you could have up, up, upgraded as well you could view things in a very high perspective they view you as somebody who's very um, respectable and they also view you as somebody who indirectly or directly is karma very powerful energy the magician card they manifested a tower for themselves due to possibly you know being overly confident here they could have felt like they could replace you in the past ace of cups six of cups is here two of swords what did they not see that they weren't going to be happy with the star card in the reverse could be an aquarius what they don't see is that they kind of walked into you know an unhealed energy putting setting themselves back what is this communication here now that we know what's gone on here knight of cups an apology peace offering knight of cups talks about an apology Some, somebody could want to give you something jump towards you the fool is now in the upright apologize for their actions apologize if they want to take a leap of faith to do this apology for breaking you breaking your heart they're in a lot of pain here and regret i'm feeling such a heavy energy around my neck area temperance card they caused the com they they caused a really peaceful situation to be really convoluted and confusing due to due to whatever it is that they did here Virgo and they can't seem to shake the fact that you know there's the stability that was on the table for them for you both temperance energy this healing connection became muddled it became confusing it became convoluted this person kind of diluted the connection I'm, I'm getting a dilution like they diluted the connection they polluted the connection with, with with confusion with other things where it could have been so simple if they took control of the situation and gave adequately and was loyal knight of pentacles six of pentacles here emperor if they took control of the situation, this could have been what you had together. They could have created something really stable with you. Six of what? Six of swords here. They're realizing them. Them walking away, kind of, it messed things up. Knight of Swords is here. The Empress. Now, now they're like trying to hold themselves back from losing control because they view you as the Empress. They view you as growth. They view you as their stability. They view you as somebody who's very powerful, very attractive energy very charismatic you could be very funny they like your humor somebody who's able to manifest as well they could view you as somebody who's very spiritual with the hierophant the queen of wands somebody in high regard highly favored i don't think you're interested in this person they cause too much pain ten of swords I feel like you've moved on. I feel like you view this person as somebody who, who you're not interested anymore. The full card is in the reverse in this deck as well. Whatever they did was just not a wise choice. Temperance. They literally played with their temperance. They, they diluted their temperance. They diluted their peace the peaceful connection they convoluted it by whatever this action was it's the same cards strength card the fool they were kind of very confident with it could be a leo they were really confident in their choice here you could be dealing with a fixed sign I don't think you're going to give this person another chance when this communication comes in. I think you're done with this. Messages for Virgo, please. Three of Wands. You, you're on to greener pastures. You're turning your back on this. I just think you're just going in another direction. You're waiting for the new. 
you're looking forward to the new as well eight of wands you're definitely shifting forward i feel like you've moved on past this now mentally three of swords you could have been very broken about whatever this is this connection that you really wanted to come together six of cups in the past and this person broke you ten of swords the same cards the same card you were mentally stuck on this person you were mentally stuck for such a long time i get a long time you know because you temperance you, you viewed this connection as something that could come together that could be balanced judgment card but it's almost like you felt like the the, the decision wasn't wasn't in your hands anymore five of swords somebody sabotaged this just ten of wands somebody sabotaged this you just view this as a burden now i just ace of cups for a lot of you you've got a whole new connection here high priestess you could be keeping this a secret the tower this is unexpected some of you got an unexpected connection literally four of swords you could be keeping to yourself at this time isolated here six of pentacles for a lot of you you're giving to a new connection we have the tower the lovers and the ace of cups this is you possibly meeting a soulmate or extending your love to a soulmate here some of you could be with a gemini a scorpio here there's new love here after a really heartbreaking situation somebody self-sabotaged caused a lot of drama a lot of pain turmoil Three of Swords. So you're moving on. You're moving on from the past. Knight of Swords. This person will attempt to chase you. Five of Pentacles. You're leaving this out in the cold. Nine of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles. You're very happy and content now with whatever it is that you've got going on in your life. Queen of Wands again. Yeah. Your confidence is really up. For a lot of you, you've built yourself back up again from this disappointment. Five of Cups is here. This person's in a lot of regret over being possibly immature with the connection or not investing. Page of Cups. It's like you just realised they, they weren't investing. Nine of Pentacles. They could have wanted to be independent and single. They could have ignored you, ignored the connection, not invested with the Four of Cups here. And then you took it took a turn because you started working on other things. Some of you could have concentrated on your work, on projects here, on yourself. Page of Pentacles, on new opportunities. And you bossed up with the Emperor Energy. Page of Wands. They want to speak to you about walking away Eight of Cups. But you're moving in silence with the High Priestess. Two of Swords here. You're blocking this person off because you feel like this person was very unstable with you with the two of pentacles crown of swords is here as well you're detaching emotionally from them hermit energy and you're ghosting this person i went down the rabbit hole in that deck but it tells the story it's the exact same story here commitment to your transformation is what you're concentrating on at this time or you're being asked to concentrate on this life purpose prosperity and trust yeah you're going in another direction and it's very fruitful where you're going i see your money increasing i see you seeing things clearly here and you kind of going in another direction for some of you you've got a really abundant connection that's coming in psychic ability some of you could be intuitive this person will attempt to come in because they're having a realization about something here strength card you've gathered your strength and it's almost like for a lot of you i feel like for a lot of you you're gonna ask yourself like why would i go back into this i went through so much there it took so much for me to recover it took so much for me to build myself back up again why would i do that to myself again because i feel like that's what you see it as you'll be doing yourself and in justice you'll be putting yourself through the ringer again this person really hurt you grieving this person really hurt you this person really hurt you grieving thank you spirit you grieved this person it isn't just people who leave us in this lifetime you know pass away sadly you know people who pass on it's not just those people that we grieve over we we, we grieve over relationships 
We grieve over things that we wanted to work. We grieve over jobs sometimes. We grieve over circumstances that we were so connected to. There's a grieving process. And I feel like that's what's hitting this person with, with a, a lot of... Um, there's a lot, yeah, travel as you move on. There's there's, there's um, a hard-hitting realisation with this now. Truth. This is the truth. There's usually somebody in, in it. I mean, sometimes both. Depends on, depending on how connections end, really, and if it's a mutual split or if it's depending on the circumstances. There's usually one person who really takes a breakup hard like grieves goes through a whole period of really suffering sometimes some people react to things in a really different way some things that some people can take other people can't and that's you we need to understand that as human beings that different people take things in different ways and then there's another way of doing of, of, of breakups or separations or whatever this is where it's like one person will bounce back pretty quick. They'll be good. They'll be probably outdating the next person or the next people, a whole string of people maybe. And then one day when the other person who grieved and really went through it has consistently felt the feelings, gone through the grief, gone through the hurt, gone through the pain, gone through it it's not just jumped over it gone through the process the painstaking process of trying to put the pieces back together sometimes the pieces don't fit and you have to realign the pieces for them to fit back together and it doesn't always fit back together how how it was before it, it never can and then you get to a day you know whoever this is whoever you are here virgo you get to a time where it's like you know actually i'm, I'm doing all right i'm doing good Meanwhile, this person who possibly sprang back, who was dating other people, who was out here living life, you know, doing the thing, possibly caused a lot of turmoil for you, Virgo. It hits them. And then their grief starts. A lot of the time, that's how things go with connections, depending on how they end and the circumstances. People grieve in various ways, but there's a delayed grief and I feel like this is what I'm picking up on here very heavy reading really heavy energy Virgo that is what I have for you if you like how I read please like share and subscribe sending you love and light at this time I feel like for a lot of you you've got a soulmate connection here you've got new love and I don't think you're interested in this but this person's in your energy Virgo they want to make something right for some of you, you may accept a peace offering or an apology. For some of you, you're not even interested in that. This person really, really did a number on you. And I feel like you're making peace and you're moving forward to better. You've done your grieving. You're moving on past this with the travel card and the grieving. You've done your grief. You've sat in that. You've, you've, you've gone through that. You've marinated in that even for some of you. And you're out at the other side and, and, and now it's their time to go through that process. Virgo, sending you love and light at this time. I will see you soon. You take care. Bye.